So, um, we've learned how to take a derivative, we've learned a number of methods and the intuition behind why it works using just um, slope equations, but how do we visualize such a thing? Well, um, I'd like to teach you about something called the tangent line, and another form to take derivatives approximately called the secant line. Now, so let's say we're taking the derivative between these two points. Right? Right now, with them at this distance apart here, whatever that is, let's call this, you know, this space here can be our dx. It's a very large dx, so delta x It's best. All right, so what's the slope between these two points? Because the derivative is just finding the slope between a point and itself, really, or at least the limit as the second point you're taking the slope to approaches the same point so that there's a, it's an infinitesimal distance away and hence we get the most accurate slope and using the limit, the accurate slope uh, so this is our slope now what we're trying to do finding slopes is find a line that touches the point of interest, this one here at exactly one point and this is called a tangent line and it looks something like this. So this is the slope at this point. It's a little off, uh, but if we kept approaching, let's draw them closer and closer. That's our slope. That's our slope. We get, we get closer and closer and closer that this is what our slope approaches and we put it right on that point to express the slope there this line having the same slope as the derivative at that point this is a tangent line a line that touches the function at exactly one point which is uh, the slope of the derivative at that point the slope of this line. Now, how about, what is the secant line that I told you about? Well, a secant line is something you use to find derivatives before you learn any of the tricks that I've taught you. So, a secant line we use when we have three points. We have a point that we care about here, and then we have two points elsewhere. So, we know how to find the slope between these points. Let's say this is x3, y3. This is x2, y2, the one we care about. And this is x1, y1, right? All right, so how do we find the tangent line here? Well. Uh, what you can actually do is find the slope between this point and these two points and just average it. It's not an extremely accurate way of taking derivatives, but it's reasonably close. All right, let's see. So we have, right, the slope between here plus the slope between here and then we divide that by 2 to find the average. So right, it's all going to be divided by 2. And this is going to be approximately equal to our dy dx. All right. I'm going to have two things here. All right, so here, OK? y3 minus y2 over x3 minus x2. Easy. Next, we could do x2 minus x1. I, I'm sorry, y2. The slope and the inverse of the slope over x2 minus x1. All right. And now that can be pretty easy. Uh, if we know the function and we know three points, this is pretty easy to define. 
And I'm not going to go into that too deep because it's not very accurate and we already know so many methods, but it's kind of about getting an understanding of how a derivative looks and really how it works and why it works the way it does. Thanks for watching.